So if we tax uh, businesses uh, profits, what impact is it going to have? Now, it's going to be harder for business to expand because it has less profit and less money to reinvest back into the business. So if we tax uh, profits, again, it's going to have a negative bearing on the economy. They are not going to expand. They are going to have less profit. Then we have indirect tax. Okay, we have in another uh, indirect tax like the VAT. And this is a tax added to prices of goods and services. And it varies within types of products. So what effect does uh, VAT, for instance, have? So prices of goods will increase, so less people will buy them. There will be less demand. As students of business, it is always good to be uh, conversant with what is going on across the country and across the world. So in the budget, uh, the cabinet secretary in charge of treasury increased VAT on cooking gas. Okay, initially it was exempted from taxation or rather it was zero tax. Now it's going to be taxed at 14%. What does that mean? It means the cost of buying cooking gas or liquefied petroleum gas will go up. What will that mean? Few people will afford to buy. So there will be less demand for the cooking gas, which might even lead to unemployment. Then the last type of tax we have is import tariffs, or what we call quotas. And these are taxed on imported goods from other countries, or what we call import quota, which is a physical limit to the amount of products that can be imported. So import duty has the effect of discouraging people from importing goods. What effect does it have on businesses? Local businesses will have more demand because there is less imported goods. At least this is a positive tax. When you tax, when you increase import duty, or when you levy a lot of tax on importation, what that means is that people or businesses will be discouraged from buying goods from outside the country. And what that means, the local businesses are going to grow. They'll employ more people to produce more goods to meet their demand. Then another impact is that importing raw materials from abroad will be much more expensive. The products will be more expensive, meaning less sales. Now, we go to the interest rates. This is another uh, government policy of trying to uh, balance the economy. So the interest rate is the amount charged for borrowing money from a bank. All right? So there is no business that can develop without loans. So when they go to the bank to borrow loans, they have to be charged some interest rates. So if the interest rates are high, they'll discourage borrowing. What, what does that mean? There will be less investments. If the interest rates are low, more people are encouraged to borrow money. They'll spend more on investments, which will grow the economy. So in most countries, the interest rates are usually fixed by the government. And in most countries, again, the central bank is the one that fixes the rates of interest. Now, the percentage of interest rate is called the monetary policy. So we have looked at the physical policy. This, we said, is uh, changes in taxation rates and government expenditure. Now, the second one is what we call the monetary policy. These, one, these are uh, policies that are aimed at either increasing the amount of money in circulation or decreasing the amount of money in circulation. Now, for today, that is going to be the end of our lesson, boys and girls. Uh, go through uh, the lesson and I'm going to send the notes. Thank you.